Well, I am very excited to be with Our Ladies of Victory again, um, and I am very much missing all of you all. I'm excited that it sounds like we're going to be able to get to have drive-in church this coming Sunday, and so I hope that y'all will be able to be with us for that. Um, but I wanted to come with you this morning, and I'm going to just try to be very brief, a lot shorter than last time. But I wanted to share with you a verse that was actually the first verse that I can remember as claiming when I was a young girl. And, you know, over the years, um, there was different verses that were special to me, but this is one that has stayed with me and been special through the years. But that verse is found in Jeremiah 33, and it's verse number three. And of course, it's our Lord speaking, but he says, call unto me. And I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. And as a little girl, I liked the idea that I could talk to the Lord anytime that I wanted and that he would hear me. And at that point in my mind, I thought of all these amazing things that he was going to give to me. And that's what that verse meant to me. Of course, over the years, as time has gone on and hopefully I've matured a little bit, I've realized that it's not always the things that I want or the things that I picture that the Lord is going to give to me but it's the things that he knows that are really the best for me. And I was reminded of this verse a few years back um, when I was actually reading a tip for parenting. And I don't know if you all that have little children, if y'all are like mine, but I have twins that are eight and they've kind of grown out of the stage for the most part. But I also have a four-year-old, that's Chloe, and then little Kylie Joe is two. And our girls, uh, they talk a lot. We often laugh because my husband will look at me and shake his head and he'll say, my sister's never acted like this. And I say, well, me and mine did. So anyway, my poor husband is sunk at our house, but he finally got his little boy. He loves his girls, but I know his ears are ringing from it sometimes. But what, one thing with our girls, when they hit about two years old, usually to about three or four, maybe even five, they would ask the same thing over and over and over and over again. And I think that's pretty common of that age. But, you know, I could be cooking in the kitchen or cleaning or working on something. And you hear the same thing over and over and over again. And I read this tip that they said, if you will stop what you're doing as a parent, if you'll stop what you're doing and you get down on their eye level and you say, you have asked and I have answered. That a lot of times it will help them to realize, okay, mom has heard what I said and she's given me an answer. And it may not be what I want, but I've got my answer. And so, you know, I tried that and it sounds crazy. My husband laughed, I think, the first time he heard me say it or the first time I was telling him about it, but it does work. Not 100% of the time, but it does, it, it does help. And so I will do that sometimes with Kylie and with Chloe. But recently, with all this COVID-19 going on and just all the craziness, I found myself repeating the same prayers over and over again. And I do believe that we should pray often and we should the prayer of importunity that we pray and we end up that we um, just really beg the Lord for something. But I think also there's a time where we can just have great faith and say, Lord, I've asked you about this and I believe that you heard me and that I believe that you're going to answer. And it was almost like the Lord said to, said to me, Joanna, you have asked me and I have answered. And he's done that with many things in my life. And sometimes the answers are not what I want to hear. Uh, sometimes we all know it's yes, it's no, or maybe wait a while. And right now, I think with this COVID-19, we're being told to wait a while and we're, it's getting revealed how patient we are. But you know, I know that the Lord has lessons that he wants to teach us during this waiting period. But I, we can have the assurance and we can know that the Lord is not going to be like we are as parents are sometimes. Um, earlier this week, I was grading some papers for Lacey and Savannah and Kylie was in the sunroom with me and she was just jabbering up a storm. And apparently she had been asking me something because finally she came over and she tugged on my arm and she said, Mama, you not say, mm. you not say, mm. and so apparently what I was doing is I wasn't answering her. I was just kind of giving her the mm, like, OK, Chloe I, or Kylie, I hear you. But that the Lord will never do that to us. And he doesn't always give us the answers that we want. Um, I don't like hearing the answer. No. But as I look back over my life, I can remember the times that he said no and I look back now and I know it was for my good. And um, of course, we love the yeses, but often we don't get the yes because what we think we want isn't for our good. And sometimes it's wait a while. And if you're like me, I think that's the hardest one of all because I can deal with a no and move on to my next great idea as I have Lacey and Savannah who they always have some uh, great idea or project they want to, they want to do. And when I say no, sometimes they're okay with it. They just move on to the next thing. But sometimes it's, okay, let's wait a while. And I think that's where we are right now. And the Lord has something he wants us to teach. He wants to teach us here and to have, while we're having to have patience. So let's remember that verse, Jeremiah 33, 3. 
call unto me. Let's not forget to call to the Lord right now. We've got our Facebook. We've got our friends that we can call. and We've got the text messages we can send. But really, it's the Lord that we need to be calling to during this time. To call unto me, and I will answer thee. And I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. You know, we're going to come out on the other side of this maybe in a few weeks, few months. I don't know how long it's going to take. But I hope that we will be the better for it. And I hope we will have learned some lessons. I hope that our faith will have grown during this time and certainly our prayer life. And there will be so many things that we don't take for granted that perhaps we did before. But call unto him today. And he's going to show you great and mighty things that we don't even know about in a greater way than we could ever imagine.